I don't have to. Hello, and please keep return. Captain Kells and I want to speak with you. Captain Kells, as I expect, Elder Max has already explained. The destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operation. There are still super mutants and feral to be dealt with, as well as any remaining sense that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving the Brotherhood, and assist us with eradicating these threats. Of course. Of course, Captain. Very good, Captain. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions, both past and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve, but we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be served with you. I really don't know what to say. As you've no doubt heard before, words are unnecessary. Your actions will speak more volumes. Very true. Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no words for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Add Victoria Thank you, beautiful. Ha ha, I'm a sentinel. Look, see the way she stands and everything. She's just natural military. I love it. I still really don't get what you're seeing out there. There is one way thing you can do. Although it takes him to cut the conversation with you. What can you see? It's pitch black, dude. It really is. You need to ask me something simple? Sure. Let's go with that. Though the Institute has been destroyed, there are numerous synth units that are still roaming the continent. Even with their command structure destroyed, they present a significant threat and should be eliminated on site. Did you have any other questions? How can I continue helping the Brotherhood of Steel? Speak to the crew. I'm certain that they have plenty of missions available. If you are willing to pick up the assignments, is there anything else? What are my responsibilities as a sentinel? I need you to set an example for the troops. Collect technology, exterminate abominations of nature, and bring a message of stability to the people of the Commonwealth. Our ideals are what define us, sentinel. If we can hold on to that, then we will always be victorious. Was there anything else you need to ask? Mm. No, nothing whatsoever. I'm just enjoying staring. Well, I was enjoying staring at you for a second. Very well. Mm. Then I suggest you return to your duties. Ah. Oh. Now I'm off to pick an argument with Madison Lee. <laughs> I actually am doing it on purpose. I'm way to pick an argument with Madison Lee. Let's start with a joke. Dealing in any after effects from the institute. Say what? I can't hear you over this ringing in my ears. <laughs> well, that's to be expected given the circumstances. You did a hell of a job. Everyone was talking about it. 
getting a crime built and then leading him right up to the Institute's front door like you did? It was damn heroic, if you ask me. Anyway, as long as you're feeling fine, you're clear for active duty. And Victoria, Sentinel. Thank you, kid. That's quite the crater you manifested in the center of Boston. I know. Marvelous work. That's brilliant. Oh. All the research destroyed. Thank you, my Judy. Glad you're impressed. You are disappointed that all the Institute's technical research just went up in smoke? On the contrary, it's always been my sincerest hope that the Institute's ill-conceived research would never see the light of day. And thanks to your efforts, it appears that my hopes have become reality. Haven't bank on it, mate. Thank you, Proctor. Absolutely. You deserve all the accolades you've been receiving and more. Your actions have proven to the people of the Commonwealth that the Brotherhood of Steel has their best interests in mind. That's quite an accomplishment for someone who was merely a new recruit only a short time ago. Very true. I've already taken up more than enough of your valuable time. If you still wish to procure technical documents or a small one of my scribes, please let me know. Quinlan, did we not establish I am not babysitting any of your goddamn scribes again? Oh, that was fun. Congratulations. On the promotion to Excuse me, Squire. How did one of my heroes? Like Yonder Maxon. What a rotten liar he was. I'm glad he's gone. I remember Maxon was the same age as you. So cute. I had to run up to him and go, could you, could you, could you? I really did. Excuse me, Proctor. So, any other tricks up your sleeve besides making the Institute disappear? That depends. Do you have deck the cards? If I did, you'd be welcome to it. Heck, I'd give you a medal if you still use the darn things. You almost single handedly finished everything that the Brotherhood came here to do. Even to a curmudgeon like me, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, I'm not here to talk to your ear. Max has informed me that you're continuing your tour aboard the Fridman. So I was hoping you could assist me with a long-term problem. Keeping the Fridman hovering like this is putting a tremendous strain on the ship's propulsion systems. I can stay ahead of the repairs, and we have plenty of fuel for the fusion reaction to stay, but we're short on reactor fluids. Okay. I'll be on the lookout. Don't worry. You can look all you want. You're not going to find cans of the stuff laying around the Commonwealth. Here, I know. take this list. It details exactly what you need to make a can of this special food. Find the materials, whip some of it up at any of the chemistry stations on the ship, and bring them to me. Pretty simple. If the coolant's good, then I'll even pay you for it, as per our retrieval compensation policy. <laughs> I guess that's it for now. Good luck. So you wondered why I was collecting all that stuff? Well, there's your answer. You got what you wanted. The Institute's destroyed and everyone up here thinks you're a hero. Yep. Uh, yeah. I think I deserve a little praise. After all, I saved the Commonwealth. Maybe that remains to be seen. But even if you did, was it worth the cost? The fact of the matter is that innocent people died because Elder Maxon had delusions of grandeur. He kept preaching that the Institute was playing yeah, they were. for creating the sins. Well, you know what? Maybe you should take a look in the mirror because he's the only one that I saw that's been playing God. I gotta. Don't you think they made to answer for their crime? Oh, God, now you're starting to sound like Maxon. He really got under your skin, didn't he? You know, I actually convinced myself that you were using the reprime as leather. We did. That you were hoping for the Institute to surrender. Well, that, that wasn't going to happen. We didn't betray you. I've already told Proctor Ingram that I'm through working on Liberty Prime. I'm going to work on my own projects in peace. Don't need you anymore. So now on, I suggest we stay out of each other's way. Yeah. And victorious Sentinel. Madison, we don't need you. He's up and running and working just fine. We really don't need you anymore. Please feel free to jump off the side of the ship without power armor on. 
I know I'm not the first to say this, but I appreciate what you did down there. The Institute got exactly what it deserved. I'm guessing that's not all you wanted to say. Isn't that obvious? So yep. I just keep thinking about all the lives that were lost getting to this point. What was this one pilot in particular? Rico was his name. I've been on this ship long enough that I watched him go from a green horn wastelander to a lancer. Every day after his duty shift, he'd come back here and we'd talk about, well, everything. Sometimes for hours. I remember the day Kells put him in command of a vertebrae. He ran right down here to me and handed me a bottle of whiskey. I told him to keep it, but he insisted. He said I was his friend. Whoa. Sounds like a good man. He was. Right, right before, before you got, got back, back at Redmond, Kells told me he was shot down. Some punk with a rocket launcher got lucky he blew in from the sky. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. It's not really any of your concern. I guess I just wanted to show you that there's two sides to every victory. Those who live to revel in it, and those who die making it happen. Well, I think I've raked you through the mud for long enough. Here, I want to give you this as a token of my gratitude for everything you've done. I hope the gesture means the same to you as it did to me. Okay, one second. Seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty. Holy hell! Yeah, sure. Um. Gotta go get the cat. Attention, this is a reminder. Any recovery of historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. I really like That is all. It's very true. Very, very, very true. Hey, Sean. I was so worried. I thought I knew you. Is it true? Did you do the Why would you do that? Because it was fun. <laughs> I don't have an option of it was fun. Okay. They were dangerous, Sean. To everyone in the car. Yeah, that's what the proctor lady told me. As long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're, you're not going to leave me, right? Oh, Sean. Where would I go? I don't know. You're busy. You're busy. You're busy. Just, just, just make sure you don't forget about me. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it said. But I think it's important. Sean, do you want to get out of here? Go live somewhere else. With me. Okay. Get out of his room. Oh my god, I'm just knocking over all this stuff. I am not with you. I do not know you. Get out here now. Oh my goodness. Oh, before I run off. There is 